Hey y'all. Oh, I'm so excited to talk to you guys again. Um got my little koofy on today and my hoodie. It feels so good outside. I love the spring weather. I'm an April baby. So today, well right now, I'm headed to Michael's and the Dollar Tree because I forgot to get some tablecloths. Oh, let me rewind that back. <clears throat> today, I am so excited. I am doing a paint class for the Union Mission in Norfolk, Virginia and at 6 o'clock. So let me rewind that back. I just got out of Michael's because I received the call during the first video, which always happens to me. But anyway, um, I just left Michael's and I am headed to Walmart because I needed to take something back there. Um, I am doing a paint night at the Union Mission today at 6 o'clock and I am so excited because we're going to have so much fun and I got all my stuff that I needed and I praise God for that. I know that sewing into this is going to bring the ladies like so much joy and just like I just can't explain especially I guess especially after seeing how they responded to Casey when she did her makeup day like it just brought them so much joy just to know that people care about them and that it's not the end of the world because they're in a situation like that but to continue to have hope and to know that people out there still care and still want them to feel you know like what the women that they are how beautiful they are on the inside and that they still I know a lot of times it might seem like, oh my gosh, they're going through so much stuff to them. And it might seem like to them, like they're not worth anything. But that is totally not true. The people that God made them to be is still on the inside there. It's just that these temporary things are, are temporarily tearing them down. I've been praying and, you know, I'm not going to be nervous. I got my pep talk from Miss Regina and Casey. So, yes, I'm going to do this thing. And I just want to give a special thanks to everybody that donated and everybody that gave their time. Different things that were needed for this project. And um, the image that they're doing is they're doing like a sunset with the lighthouse like up on a little hill. And I actually got this painting from um, an artist on YouTube by the name of The Art Sherpa. He's really awesome. And I love the idea so much because my business in itself is named Lighthouse Artistry in lighthouses are important to me because of the fact that they remind me of God and how he draws us in when we're out there in this dangerous world not knowing him and you know just doing our own thing but that light that guides the ships in during those hard times and when they can't find their way it reminds it reminds me of God and that's kind of my connection to lighthouse why my business name is Lighthouse Artistry. And not to mention just like this year, well, like the end of last year and the beginning of this year, like it also reminds me of letting your light so shine. Like I love that scripture because that scripture has got me through my times of being shy and my times of dulling my light for other people and not being true to myself. But this mom, these mom episodes and things like that are surely like, letting my light so shine think about a lighthouse like it represents strength because a lot of the times too they're like up on this little hill and the storms and the waters are beating at the lighthouse like in the exterior of the of the lighthouse and they still stand like no matter how hard the winds beat no matter how hard the water comes up they're still there to help other people bring them to safety and that's what it represents to me. I pray that when I explain that to them and that when they finish their paintings today that every time they look at that painting they'll think of how God is there to bring them in like Jesus the light that's going to bring them in and no matter what their situation is and stuff like that he is the solution. He's going to bring them in to safety and when they're confused and they don't know what to do he's that steady foundation that steady rock and I just, oh, I'm just so excited, like, for real. I guess you guys can see by my, my 
my cheeks. But um, <laughs> my husband joked me about it all the time. Like when I get really excited, like my cheeks, they're like really high and they turn red sometimes. Yes, I'm brown skin, but they turn red sometimes. Hey y'all, so as you can see, I look a little different than earlier. Um, I'm headed to the Union Mission. I am so excited and I'm ready for this experience. Uh, ready for the ladies to have a good time. Uh, I left the house kind of on time. And yeah, I'm just excited. Packed all my stuff. I went over my list like twice. And yes, I am ready. I am ready. I am ready. Say hi, Casey. Got everything set up and I'm ready to go. Say hey, Miss Regina. Got a little setup over here. I'm ready for this. We're gonna have so much fun. This is it. Thank you, Art Sherpa. <laughs> 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 My name is Tanisha. I'm the owner of White House Artistry. There's like a little business card on the table in front of you. Um, today, I'm going to have some fun. We're going to relax. And this is the image that we're all going to be painting. So don't get nervous. It's a beginner's painting. <laughs> We got to beginners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, you can start a problem and happen. <laughs> so um, when we get started, I'm gonna we're gonna go around and we're gonna say name, something like funny or something special about you and your painter's experience. So I'll go first. My name is Tanisha. I'm married, I have three children, and I've been painting since I was um I've been to me, so This plate here, you guys look a little different than mine because I have black hair. But first, you don't need a lot of paint. What you're gonna do is dab it in your yellow. And you're gonna also dab it in the white. It's okay if the color starts to mix on your plate. You're gonna be mixing some colors in a little while. And then try to brush it with just need it on the tip. Your first step, what you're going to do is you're going to go on top of the horizon line that's there on your canvas and you're just going to make a line going straight across. Right above the line. It looks good. It looks fine. If you brush this a little bit, just stick the tip of your brush into the water a little bit and definitely yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 